Hello guys, welcome back to another stream with your very free to play player Stakurun. So today uh, we are doing Guild Wars again, Dream Team, which is a G1 guild. And today I would like to showcase to you guys the free to play unit that we can use against these guys. I mean, if you guys look at this, it looks impossible to beat, right? Especially when you're a free to play player. But I assure you guys that come to us is generous enough to put some free to play units we can use to beat this comp. So let's get straight to it. So for the top comp, I'm just going to focus on Perna and kill Perna over and over. And just hope that Molong Reckless will not kill any of my uh, Heimun of Word. Because I believe that Perna will move after Heimun moves. Therefore, Heimun's shield should be sufficient enough uh, to enable whoever Molong attack with Reckless to survive. As for the bottom comp, I'm going to strip Laika and just focus on Laika with Tessarion multi hits. So, let's get straight to it. Now I'm just going to focus on Perna because Perna is squishy and none of my fire unit can kill Molong Oof. We're actually lucky that Molong doesn't, doesn't go for Reckless Come on, can we pop the Triana passive? No. So we take out Perna's first light. See, I wrote my Kaemon with Nemesis just in case that happens. As you guys see, can see that my Kaemon is going to move before Perna moves. And this ensures that none of my com is going to die. Actually, I'm going to get rid of Molong now. Crit! Throw another stone. And we can just repeat on killing Perna. See, free to play beating pay to win comp. Triana alone cannot solo this team. What she can do at best is just stall our time. All right, for this comp, our victory really depends on whether or not we can strip that immunity and shield from Laika. So Jaeger. Please do your job. <laughs> Come on, Azure, you got one job to do. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We can still win this. I'm going to use the triple crush to get the multi hits on Laika. We need to heal, we need to heal. Don't sleep. Come on, Ager, this is your second chance. Okay, now we're talking. See? If we're able to take out like us uh, immunity from the start, we could have uh, put that attack down on him sooner. And that would, that would have made the fight way easier. And we pop Laika. Next, we are going to start working on the Wind Panda. Wait, wait. Do you guys think it's wise to go for the Wind Panda or should I go for the Wusa first? Let me know in the comment section. I think it would be wiser to take out the Wusa first so that there won't be any immunity on the Wind Panda. So we can uh, attack the Wind Panda right after we put Oblivion on the Wind Panda. Defense that. We don't want Wind Panda to go ham on our on our sneaker. Whoa. 
Tesarion landing defense break on Musa is actually <laughs> crazy. But what's even crazier is that Wind Panda find proking three times. I'm not going to cleanse because I believe that Musa is not gonna do shit. And we can get rid of that armor break by ourselves. Oh, oh, stop, stop. Save the strips for that buff. We're gonna land oblivion. Nope. Oh, come on, Tessarion. And now we're going to strip. Nope. <laughs> Have it a little more. Oh my god. I bet this Wind Panda has 100 resistance, so else how can he be resisting all of my attack? Oof. But that pylon proc though. Alright, now we're going to attack the next plus 2. <laughs> Yon Hong. So for the top comp, I'm going to, to just do what we did in the previous fight But this time instead of focusing on Perna, I'm going to focus on Yon Hong Because Yon, as long as Yon Hong is there, the fight will never end As for the bottom team, I'm going double water since uh, there are two fire threats And front to make sure that none of my units are going to get provoked, silenced, or stunned by the wind monkey Alright, can we do this? Proceed on Yon Hong. Nemesis. Now K Moon has a shield and I can I can actually breathe. No you ain't starting shit with Panda. Ay 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 stop stop! Oh my god! Okay, so the only way for us to win here is if we can delete Yon Hong and let's go go solo. Proc? Oh no. Please proc? Yes. Okay, now we have a chance to win. Because my Skogul is on Vampire and a Vampire Skogul can solo uh, mostly... I would like to say anyone but let's not get too cocky until we see the results. Ay, 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 ay. Come on. I would like my fur to take out Perna before she dies. Don't die. Ay, 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 ay. Come on, Skogel, you can solo this. Oh! <laughs> 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 Uh, we're going to kill and we're going to change target to the fight this one i i love all of <laughs> this wind monkey is so toxic i would actually like to get stunned please I'm actually going to start working on the wind monkey so that he won't uh, stun me every time he attack his ally. Strip that away. And we should be good. There is no way that Arakan can solo two water threats. 